Bijapur is known for its architecturally important Adil Shahi monuments. Gol Gambas is the tomb of Sultan Muhammad Adil Shah. Created by the architect Yaqub of Dabol, it is set in a beautiful garden. Its magnificent dome rises 51 meters on a huge stone cube. At each corner is a seven-story tower. Exquisite stucco motifs decorate the facade. Inside the mausoleum, a podium with a cenotaph marks the grave below. As seen from this windowsill, the walls are 9 feet thick at the base. Eight intersecting arches support the dome to cover 1700 square meters, making this one of the world's biggest single chamber spaces. The octagonal corner towers rise seven stories with a staircase inside. The Nakarkhana announcing arrivals is just in front of the entrance. It was converted to a museum in 1892. Outside are wrought and cast iron mortars and cannon. The Jod Gambas were ordered by Emperor Aurangzeb to honor General Khan Muhammad. The square tomb has the most perfect dome in Bijapur. In it rests Abdul Razak Kadiri, spiritual advisor to the general. Taj Bawri, built by Malik Sandal, is flanked by two-storied octagonal towers spanned by a high 35-foot arch. A broad flight of steps passes under this to a 223-square-foot tank. Arcades along the sides accommodated travellers. Mehtar Mahal is the prettiest building in Bijapur. Its oriel windows appear supported by rows of hanging buds. Richly wrought stone brackets lie under the overhanging cornice. These have lasted for more than 300 years. The Jama Masjid is the most beautifully proportioned Adil Shahi structure. It is also the largest at 54,000 square feet. Towering over the space of the main building is the dome. The interior has a quiet simplicity which adds to its solemnity. The east gate was built by Aurangzeb. The tomb of Ibrahim II, Ibrahim Rauza, is set in a square enclosure pierced by an austere entrance on the north. A long, dark passage opens to a vista of two large buildings on a high platform. On the east side is the tomb of Ibrahim II, Queen Taj Sultana and members of his family. On the west is the mosque. Both are noted for their rich cornices and graceful minarets. The labour expended on these is unstinted. Under the cornice of the mosque are remnants of heavy chains with pendants. Each of these is carved of a single block of stone. The exterior walls are elaborately decorated with shallow surface tracery of arabesque and calligraphic extracts from the Holy Quran.
Between the two buildings is a reservoir with a fountain. The pillars in the corridor are very Indian in style, with little that is Saracenic about them. The veranda is worked into geometric, lotus, key, spiral and intricate knot patterns. So that was medieval Bijapur, a city which symbolized what peace and prosperity can do for architecture. We hope you enjoyed viewing this. Don't forget to like and to subscribe and we'll see you on our next video.